I am feeling decadent today and do I have a great, great recommendation for you. So if you're looking for a great chocolate peanut butter porter and one that will surely make you look like a connoisseur, then join me on this tasting. My name is Eddie and I have tasted and sampled many beers from all over the world and it is my passion to help you find that perfect beer you're looking for. Whether you're looking to try something new or there is something very specific that you're looking for to pair with your food, I got your back. Welcome back, beer lovers. Thank you for spending the next few minutes with me. As I said in the intro, my name is Eddie, and on this channel, I taste and review all kinds of beers and give you my most honest opinion about them, as well as some ideas to pair them with your food, just like the one you're about to watch. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon down there so you're notified every time I release a new beer review video. If you like the video, you know what to do, right? Now, I said I'm feeling decadent because I'm bringing you from Lupulin Brewing, which by, I have to be honest, I am not familiar with your work. I'm excited. Just look at that can. I mean, just, just the label on the can is just something to behold. It has a lot of information, but um, it is from Lupulin Brewing in Minnesota. Their chocolate peanut butter porter, porter. Their chocolate peanut butter porter. Chocolate, it's like, it's like a, a, a tongue twister. Chocolate peanut butter porter. There you go. That's what I'm going. I see it says CPB, chocolate peanut butter. And full disclaimer, full disclosure out there. I am a fiend for peanut butter. I am a fiend for chocolate. So I may be a little partial this review, okay? I'm going to try not to be, but hey, you know, I'm going to try. And I'm going to use my Nonic Pine for this porter, being that it is an American porter, it's probably the glass I recommend that you use um, for when you're putting yourself a nice American porter. Um, if you want to get your own set of Beer Connoisseur TV glasses, so you always have the right glass for the beer that you're tasting, check out the description below and see how you can get your hands on a set. Now this is a big can, it's probably like a pint can, and with that big head and all that action coming from right underneath the head, I need to pour slowly. I don't want another accident like we had a couple weeks ago. So, where do we always start? The three C's of appearance, right? Color, clarity, and carbonation. So, I think the color is a very, very dark brown. You may mistake it by black, but it's, it's definitely dark brown. It is clear, actually, you know, if you could, if it wasn't because of how dark it is, but definitely clear, no, no, no hazy, no sediments here. And <laughs> definitely lots of, lots of carbonation there. Look at that nice, fluffy cream, or maybe like tan color head of foam. You saw it was huge when I started pouring it and it is it is dissipating although it, when it gets to that part of the glass it's kind of holding. It's kind of holding right now. So there you go. That's the appearance for you, right? And next we go for the aromas. That's interesting. It's kind of like a bread. It's, it's, seriously, it's like bread or biscuity the first thing I pick up. Yeah, I don't pick up any chocolate. Maybe I have to wait a little bit more uh, for the foam to dissipate, but actually it just comes as just a little bit of the malt, like sweet, but it just smells like sweet bread. And I'm now getting a little bit nervous that the uh, artificial peanut butter, because it does say ale with it says ale with natural flavors added, but now I'm a little bit afraid that the artificial 
flavors and aromas here are kind of like feeling artificial to me. Yeah, all I'm feeling is kind of like a bready, biscuity aroma there, and it maybe it feels like kind of like powder or something, but it's, that's, I have to be honest, that's what I'm picking up. Not, 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 no chocolate, no peanut butter, distinguishable aromas or anything like that. So I'm going to go taste it now, and I will let you know how that part of the tasting goes. Well, okay, so there is definitely something nutty about it. It's just not peanut butter nutty. I wouldn't call it peanut butter nutty. There is definitely something there that I would definitely call it, yeah, and I'm, it's, it's, you know, it's lingering towards the back of the, the taste. So it starts pretty much like a normal butter, kind of like dry, bitter a little bit kind of like maybe roasted coffee beans kind of bitter just on the tip of the tongue and then actually the middle of the palate was very interesting kind of like syrupy with that you know multi sweetness distinguishable you know of a, of a normal porter and then towards the back that's where i started feeling that nutty kind of flavor there but it, it, it i have to be honest with you it feels a little bit like like they they intended to put that in there it's like they added it after that's like a, it feels like an afterthought to be honest with you so it does have some naughty character there which you know it's going to be important for the next piece it just doesn't feel like everything kind of blends together nicely i don't know it just feels kind of like out of place some of the taste however i i think i can still give you some some recommendations if you want to still go the connoisseur route and have some food pairings, right? Now, it does have, you know, a, a, you know, a, a, a robust backbone. So I think, you know, robust meats, like you normally would, would pair with butter are still safe here. So uh, like a pastrami sandwich, I was thinking a pastrami sandwich with like, you know, sauerkraut and, you know, nice bread because it does have a kind of like a very bready character to it. That's something as I would absolutely recommend here. And grilled, so grilled smoked sausage. Yeah, I mean, that nutty character, it still feels like a little smoky, but it's not something what I would call smoky. So it do, but it does have some character back there that I think would pair nicely with uh, grilled smoked sausage. And some Korean barbecue chicken, I think, will go well. As far as cheese, I would recommend a smoked gruyere. Maybe, you know, the smoky character of the cheese will take some of that bite off. I, unfortunately, I love smoked gruyere. Fortunately, I don't have anything handy with me right now, so I cannot do that in front of you. But go with that, and maybe you can let me know how it goes, or I'll definitely try to do it uh, next time I have this beer. Now, you know you can always trust me to leave you a great recommendation as far as the dessert pairing, right? And today is no different. Still, you know, with this beer not tasting as I expected, However, I do have some recommendations that I can make, so check out the description below. That's my gift to you. Now that concludes today's lesson, but not before I ask you, have you had Lupulin's chocolate peanut butter porter before? If you have, leave me some comments below. What are, you, what are, what are your thoughts? I'd love to hear what you're, what you're thinking. I hope I have helped you increase your beer knowledge as we all continue on this journey of becoming beer connoisseurs and I encourage you to be on the lookout over the next few days when I release my next peer review video. And until then, enjoy.